So I have one video in which I show how to take Arakawa Japanese maple cuttings. Now this video was taken in early spring and that's the time when I normally take Japanese maple cuttings. A couple of people have asked me, can you also take cuttings in the middle of summer? So what did I do over summer? I took cuttings. It's now the middle of winter. Time to take a look. Let's see what these have done. But before we do, let's go back in summer. I think it was in August when I took these cuttings. How I went about it. We're right now in the peak of summer. It is 7 a.m. It's 22 degrees Celsius, 70 Fahrenheit. And today we will go to the 100 Fahrenheit, 35 to 36 degrees Celsius. It's quite hot. That's why I'm here early in. I am actually taking care of a garden of a friend of mine who is on holidays. And in his garden he has this gorgeous, gorgeous Arakawa maple. So last night I popped him the question. Can I please take some cuttings from your tree and see where they'll root over summer? The answer was yes, you can. And actually he said, take as many as you like. He shouldn't have. I take these cuttings early morning. That way they're nice and juicy and they're not desiccated yet. And of course, I'll pop them in the bag straight after I cut them, take them home, pot them up. Um, any case, let me water this garden and I'll be right be with you. Just cutting them to size so I can take them home in the baggies that I brought. Cutting in between the internodes so that later on I can still use the last node for cutting. A little bit of water in the baggie to keep them moist. Please help me grow this channel. Share the video, pop a comment down below. Maybe like the video. And if you really, really like more than one video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Rooting hormone. I've been asked in a previous video what I use. And this is a jelly made by a manufacturer called Clon Clonex. And no, I'm not getting paid to say that I'm using their material. It really is the stuff that I like to use. Um, in fact, I don't have any sponsors at all. I just take cuttings. I clip them roughly at the node. I clip off the side leaves and I take a cutting two or three nodes long. In this case I'm not going to use the herbaceous top I think. So I'm going to go there and then I don't need the lower leaves either. Dip it in the hormone. Make sure that the cut is nice and covered and just stick it in. That was a thin one. Now one that's a little bit thicker and when you are selecting your cutting it is always good to see where are the short internodes. Look here there's two short internodes and that would make a very interesting place to create a cutting. This is a very long internode and as you know there's not going to be any buds on this section. So short internodes help with the base of your cutting. So I'd like to take a cutting here. This is one of the very thick ones that grew really well. Let's go for one here. Let's create one here as well. If you look at these cuttings that I have here, um, you can see that I am taking different types of cuttings. I have cuttings here with two nodes from a very thick branch, with one, two, three nodes from somewhat thinner, one, two, three, four from even thinner. Then there's two nodes again, but here there's only one node. I'm going to try whether these will root directly from the stem, which in theory they should. Normally I take my cuttings directly at a node because I know that rooting will form there quite easily. But this way might be a useful way if you don't have a lot of material. So I'm trialing it with just one node on it. These can just go in my propagation corner where there is an hour or two of sun a day, not a lot of wind. 
Perfect. I'm just thinking forward in the middle of winter when I'm editing this video and I'm sitting here in my shorts now and probably I'll be sitting on my couch. Fire going in the fireplace, outside is raining, storming, cold. Sorry yellow of the future but you'll have to go out in the shed and you'll have to see how these cuttings are doing. Haha, ha, very funny. Yes it is cold and no the fireplace was not burning. So let's unwrap these. There's a lot of dead leaves here, but also there's quite a bit of fungal infections. Um, there are a few healthy buds, but nothing much to be happy about. Well, there's a few roots. That's something promising. Um, this is dead. So that is five that are rooted. Um, I've got one, two, three, four, five that are still healthy and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven that are definitely dead. These I'm going to plant up because they might still root if you look um, carefully at them you see that the buds are actually still happy. These are cuttings with just one node and these are cuttings with two nodes. No, actually this is two nodes and this is three nodes. So there doesn't really seem to be an ideal. Um, all three types have rooted quite well. As said, I'm not going to do anything to the roots. I'm really just focusing on getting these repotted because it is not a great time to work the roots. It's still winter. I'll let them grow and in spring or in summer I might repot them. But for now it's just getting them into the pot. Five cuttings that have calloused over have still healthy buds but no roots and five cuttings that have created roots and still have healthy buds so that's in total 10 rooted cuttings what does that mean does it mean that it matters how many nodes you have not really a slight preference maybe for one node but not really um does it matter when you take the cuttings i still feel that early spring um using the first flush of the year produces better results but this is quite promising so in the middle of summer yes you can take Japanese maple cuttings as well using semi-hardened material this was yellow I'm going to go inside my coffee is going to get cold um, keep growing bonsai see you next time and enjoy winter oh before I forget and before you run off um, these cuttings, of course, are not going to be standing outside all winter now. They are going to stay in a shed, protected from the, uh, from the wind, from the sun, and particularly from the frost. This way, they'll have optimal chances of waking up in spring and start to grow. See you next time.